This is Lynn Williams with uh, Beehive Thermal Industries here at our headquarters. Upstate South Carolina, this is Ed Lowry. He heads up our uh, technical support team. We're gonna do a uh, short video on the proper installation of the uh, BBH-101 for eight frame and 10 frame applications and standard highs. We call it the Mighty Mike Killer. First thing to do, you're gonna remove your supers, inner lid, and lid. Remove your dividers. Queen exclusive. In every kit, you're going to get the mic killer. It's got a white surface so you can establish and count your mites during the kill. Keep in mind you'll have an initial kill and then using a standard mite board over the next seven to ten days the bees will clean the dead mites out and you, you'll be surprised what your mite count is going to be. Typically we see 30, 40 mites on an initial kill and anywhere from 150 to 400 afterwards. In your kit, you're going to get this insulation board. And it's required and we'll show you the installation. You also get the uh, special closure stick. You get a drill bit in case that's the way you want to put your slot in. You get your instructions, troubleshoot guide, and an explanation on the LEDs on the controller. You also get, in case you don't have a staple gun, there are staples in here also. Requires a hammer. You can just tap them into the center frame. So, can't you remove the super inner lid queen excluder? You want to put your sensor in the center frame on the top of the frame. Now what I do is you have to have a slot in the back. You can use a drill bit and count your frames. Two, three, four, five. For a 10 frame, I run nine. You can take the drill bit like this to create your slot or in a lot of cases, I just use my pocket knife. Because all the wood is soft pine, and I would just cut a small slot right here. For the internal sensor cable. Very simple, easy, and quick to do. Keep in mind, most beef keepers do this, but uh, always wear protective gear. The center, the sensor goes exactly in the center of this frame, right here. So typically what I do is I take a staple gun, I put it right here, I back up just to, to the back and protect the covering of the sensor. I don't press down hard and I staple it in. My eyesight's not what it used to be. At this point, you install the insula insulation sheet. It has a hole right here that allows the uh, temp heat to bend up through the rest of the hive. Reapply your super and inner lid. Take the mic killer, it slides right in the front of the box. Just like so. Alrighty. After the installation of the sensor and the insulation sheet, take your special closure stick. You have a power cord that goes to the heater belt. You install it right there. Take two small pieces of duct tape. Secure the end of the stick. Now 
Be sure and connect your internal sensor. If you don't, the uh, controller is going to do a se sequential flashing between all three lights to tell you that you're not connected or you have nicked the wire when you were installing the uh, internal sensor. At this point, we're going to uh, plug the power in. The controller will go into what we call a winter warmer mode automatically, which is heating the hive, which is a blue light. Typical spring, summer, fall, the hive will be at 94 degrees, so this will not occur. Just in case it does, wait a couple of minutes. At that point in time, you press this mode button We're going into might nut mode, and always in might mode, we, the lights will be flashing. Blue light is we're bringing the uh, hive temperature up to kill the mites. When it reaches green light, then we're at the uh, mite kill temperature. If the red light comes on, do not be alarmed. This is a very accurate controller and sensor, and it can be within a of tents over the temperature setting it will come right back to the green light all right we have a green flashing light we have reached the mic kill temperature at that point in time remove the closure stick allow the bees to come and go freely now bees will go into an air conditioner mode they will gather all over the box They'll be moving their wings, trying to cool this box off. Don't worry about it. It's a natural occurrence. We see it a lot in the higher temperatures, especially in the south, east, southwest. But this allows the bees to move freely. It also gives an opportunity for any bees that were out pollinating to come into the hive. And at that temperature, if they're carrying a mite, we have an opportunity to kill the mite that's on the bee. At the end of the cycle, you will have, the unit will automatically turn off, and with the instructions in the LEDs, you will see this part right here. The flashing LEDs will now go to a solid blue and a solid green, which means the cycle is complete. At that point in time, allow everything to cool off. You can remove this, the mite killer, after the cycle is complete, and you can do your mite count. Keep in mind, you will have an initial kill with this cycle. After that, you will have bees cleaning out the dead mites up to seven and ten days later. They will clean the cells where mites, mite eggs have died in there. They will clean out the bee larvae, and you'll see uh, cleaning out the larvae. If you look closely, you'll find the mites also attached to the brood larvae. The bees can smell the dead mite on the brood larvae. So do not be alarmed. We have pictures of it on the website. We have confirmation from other beekeepers. So unplug the unit. Unplug your sensor. And you can remove the unit and allow it to cool. The nice thing about the sensor it's because it is on a quick disconnect. You can place the sensor one time in your hive bodies and you never have to go back and put it in again. And we do sell those separately. 
if there's a problem, you'll find with these mic boards and screen bottoms, when this board deteriorates, you're going to, it's going to allow too much air to draw up in there and you will not reach the mic kill mode. And we have a timer at 45 minutes. If you have not reached the mic kill mode by then, the unit will shut down. My preference is a Luan board. You can buy it at Lowe's Home Depot. It's like five millimeters thick. Paint it white. You can actually use the mic killer with it. It slides right into the hive like so. The other beauty of it is, in the winter time, the bees will wax seal that board. Because you're going to get cold air coming in around a standard paper mic board like this. It's just one of the things we've learned here at uh, Beehive Thermal Industries. The other thing we want to show you today is what hives look like that are mic free. And if Ed will pan through these, we, I've run multiple testing on these hives. Uh, some of them were tested four weeks in a row and had no problems with the queen or the queen laying. Multiple of these hives have been tested twice. Now here's what happens is when you have beehives that are mite free, and that queen can lay a thousand to fifteen hundred eggs a day, you will get an explosion in the spring of new bees. I'm already harvesting honey early, a lot of honey. I'm going to double or triple my honey production this year just because I have a pesticide free hives, I have mite free hives. We want to thank you for your business. You can feel free to contact me. My phone number and email is on the website. Ed's contact information for technical support is also on the website. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. We're constantly striving to keep our bees healthy. Thank you.